Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. This is James from Epilog, and today we're going to be taking a look at a question that came in from one of our customers. What they'd like to know is how to do uh, two-sided engraving on the rotary quickly and easily. So what are the calculations needed for engraving a logo both on one side of a tumbler and on the other? We'll be showing how to quickly set this up in both CorelDRAW and Illustrator. Let's get started. So the only thing we really need for this is to know what the circumference of the piece is. And this is going to be on the end that is sitting on the rollers on the left side of your rotary, so the side that will be turning. So I'm just going to use my calipers, take a measurement right at that end, and I can see it's 3.46 inches. So I'll write that down. Now let's go to my calculator. And I'll take that diameter we have there, 3.46 inches. I'm going to multiply that by pi, so 3.141. And that's going to give me the circumference of the piece. So 10.86 inches. So that tells me what the page height is. So I will change this to 10.86. Now, I just need to resize my graphic. I know I want to do this about three inches tall, so I'll go ahead and set that up. Then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Since the uh, tumbler is going to be sitting on the rotary sideways, that's why we're turning it sideways as well. I'll take my graphic, just place it right at the top of the page. And we're not worried about where it's positioned on the page because we'll be using center engraving for this. Now for the duplicate distance, all we need to know is the circumference divided by two. Since we have 10.86 as our circumference, I'll just divide that by two. And I have 5.43 inches. So up here, this is uh, where you can set up your duplicate distance. So X will leave at zero, and Y I'll set to negative 5.43 inches. Now I can just select that graphic, and hit Control D, and that's going to duplicate that down that far. So if I want to test to make sure that I've uh, calculated this correctly, I'm just going to draw a quick box. And I should have the same amount of space on both sides, which I do. So that file's ready to print over. I'll show you how to do the same thing in Illustrator real quick. So in Illustrator, we're going to treat it the graphic set up the same way. I've set my artboard height to the circumference of 10.86 inches. Now to duplicate the graphic, here we're going to use Transform instead. So I'll just select my graphic. I'll go to Object, Transform, Transform Each. And under Move, I'm going to choose Horizontal 0, and Vertical is going to be 5.42 inches, so half of the circumference. And I'll just select Copy. And now we've got that all set up with its equidistance on the page, and it's ready to send in the laser. So I'll just choose File, Print. And with the Epilogue Engraver selected, I'll select print, and that'll send the job over to the laser dashboard. Now on the laser dashboard, I'll just go to advanced. I'll turn on my rotary. And the only reason to turn this on is it turns off the camera, which we won't be using in this situation. Centering point. I'm going to choose top left. I'll go to my preview. And I can see here from the target that when I set centering point at the laser, it's going to do it right at that top left position. That's an easy position for me to find on a, a tumbler like this. And I'll import my settings. I'll choose leatherette. Now I'm doing this on a Fusion Edge 12 60 watt, 
So I'm using 400 DPI, 100% speed, 70% power. And I'm just going to do top down engraving and hit print. So I already have the rotary attachment installed in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. I'm going to clip that into place to make sure it turns evenly. I'll put on my focus gauge. And now I can just focus the laser up or down until it's just touching that gauge. I know that it's in focus now. I want my center point to be half the distance of the graphic below that center line. So I want it at one and a half inches. So I'm just going to turn that to one and a half inches. And now from that left side, I want it to be half an inch off the top. The reason I know this is the graphic is three inches. And my total engraving area is four inches. Once I have that position, I can just hit the centering point, And I know where my graphic's going to start. Now I can just hit go. So now in just a few steps, we have a perfectly positioned uh, blue and silver engraved uh, coffee mug with the logos on both sides. Now this was really simple to do and makes for a great product to sell as well. Uh, these are actually from JDS and we'll include the link below so you can see where you can get your own uh, blue and silver uh, tumblers because they just engrave so nicely and give a really unique look. I hope you found these uh, tips helpful today and please join us again. If you haven't already done it, subscribe to our channel below so you can know when the latest videos come out from Epilogue. Thanks and have a great day.